Warning! This video may contain graphical settings that may upset some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome to War Thunder. Today we will be... Wait a minute. Yeah, that's right, we are playing in ultra-low quality. This is Potato Plays, because I feel like playing games on my laptop. That and my desktop is currently doing something, so I can't properly play games. So instead of being a normal person and, like, watching a video or reading a book or something, I am playing on my... Four, five-year-old now laptop? So, yeah... Now, uh, as you can see, <laughs> the game looks terrible. It it does. Um, and we, we did get some frame droppage there. And as you can see, yeah. Yeah, everything is as low as possible except for texture quality. Because I kind of don't want the textures to look that uh, muddy a mess. Seriously, I mean, th that's... They're already pretty bad. I don't want them to look any worse. So... There is that. At least I can read this text here. Now, we will be jumping into a couple of tanks. I, um, I will not be playing planes because, let's be honest here, planes don't really have, don't really lose that much graphical fidelity when it comes to, um, you know, pl playing, let's be honest. It's really tanks that the graphic settings start to impact gameplay and Stuff like that. So I think we'll start off here with my Russians. Um, I have the KV-1 and two T-34s. Yeah. But yeah, let's just head into a couple of battles, shall we? Whoa, that... Is that that KV-1 over there? Okay, that, that is a funky sounding engine, bro. But yeah, we are in our KV-1 first, as you can see here. My KV-1 isn't fully upgraded, but that's not the point of today's videos. I don't want to show off the KV-1. I want to see if a terrible ground forces player like me, because I'll be honest with you, I am not good at War Thunder ground forces at all, even though I managed to make it all the way to the Panther. Um, I'm a good shot. That, I will say, I am a good shot. I am good at, um, well, at least reasonable at actually, you know, finding and hitting a target. Whether I kill something though is a different story because I actually haven't memorized any of the, um, as you can see here, you know, components and modules and crew and all that stuff in most of the tanks in War Thunder. I'm also blind as a bat. Like, I, I, am, I usually play realistic battle because I'm not that big a fan of War Thunder, arcade, you know, air forces or ground forces or otherwise. Not the biggest fan, I used to play it a lot, not so much anymore, I usually stick to um, World of Tanks if I want to play it on arcade tank game. But, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to see if playing on ultra low graphics in, um, you know, would one, help my gameplay, and two, see if laptop players have an advantage over, well, desktop players, because let's be honest here, the people who should be using ultra low quality are laptop players. Um, they, that's not the case, sadly, but this is what it sh it should be used for. So we're heading up into B. Um, I'm probably gonna get sniped from the side. Holy crap! There's a guy there. Um, I'll shield you, guy. Oh, there he is. <laughs> of course, I'm the last guy there. I'm the only one not shooting at- Oh, it's a jumbo. Okay. Okay, it's a jumbo. Okay, guys, we're back in Poland, and yeah, we've got a buttery smooth 30 FPS. <laughs> uh, actually, it's gone up to 50 now, so that's actually not bad. So far, my games haven't been that that great, but 
Ignore about our terrible games. Um, I'm heading up this flank. I'm probably gonna snipe. I'll be honest with you. Especially considering we're, yeah, bottom tier. I think 3.7 is the tier to be at right now. At this time of day, but do you guys like my skin for the Crusader? Because it's the Crusader tank. No. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. Um. I would like to say that I was inspired to make this video because I saw on the War Thunder um, website that they have a competition for a gaming laptop. Now, I say to that is screw that gaming laptop. You don't need the Acer Inspiron. No, that's Dell, I think. I don't know. Th that random Acer laptop. You don't need that to play War Thunder and be good at it. You don't need that. You want a little crap bucket like this one and just play an ultra low quality settings and wreck everyone which I haven't been doing <laughs> okay this looks like a decent spot it's a bit far away actually actually I can probably snipe mid let's see I can oh I, I see a tank oh um, I don't come on back up back up There you go. Nice, gonna run loader. I'll just... Oh. Nope, he's moved. Yeah, he's gone. He's just smoked up. Okay. Ah, uh, kill assist. Not, not bad. Is that a tank? I uh, don't think so. No, it's just a pile of wood. See, this is my problem. U ultra low or otherwise, is I can't... I have trouble spotting... Well, anything, really. They make it easy in Air RB because... Really, it's pretty much spot the dot. You can spot enemy aircraft pretty darn easily in Air RB. And tanks, on the other hand, uh, not really, no. Tank... T-34, by the looks of it. Gonna push up? Uh, could have been a better shot. Can we set him on fire from here? Nah. Too steep an angle. If I could just set him on fire. Oh, there you go! <laughs> Finally, a kill! I'm getting really lucky, guys. <laughs> All luck and no skill. I can't- I seriously can't spot the- Oh. Oh, there- there he is. Oh, crap. How the hell am I still alive? With no damage to boot. Tank? Bush. Oh sh No, that's fun. We're bottom tier again. Okay, we're back in Sinai now, but um, we're on the other side this time. Yeah, we're against the Russians, the Germans, and the French. We're British. We have to kill the French. Come on, let's go. Let let's go, Sherman. Marka, Marka. Okay, last time I checked, there was someone over here. I don't know if he's dead, but. Oh, no, he's there, he's there. Can I push on him? No, he can't. Come on, depression. There you go! Nice shot. Is there anyone else? Uh, 
I don't, I don't think so. Now, we haven't captured A. We're, we're flipping it right now. But, um, we do have some fairly fierce resistance here. So, I think, I think he'll go help out. He's definitely spotted me. Um, I have no idea what to do. I, I'm just in a crusader. Well, this six pounder is not bad. Um, it's not going through a KV-1. Not, not frontally at least. The K oh, the KV-1 is dead. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Um, hi guy. Okay, I can penetrate him frontally, but, um... Oh, thank you! Okay, let's push towards A now. Use up our 50 smoke grenades. I actually can't see where I'm going. <laughs> I had a bulldozer Sherman, that'd be great. But no, I don't think... The bulldozer Sherman exists in this game, does it? I know the AVRE is coming next, Pat. Well, it's probably going to be out by the time this video is out because this video is just a um, a filler video for when I'm too lazy to record or upload anything else. Yo, dude, you need help. Smoke weed every day. Come on, come on, Jappy, don't, don't, don't ram me in the butt. I'm also in as, as, as screwed as, if we get spotted, I'm as screwed as you. Though, we can go for the flanky flank. Oh, there's the T-34. There's another T-34 over here. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the map. It helps to have a map. It also helps if you're paying attention to it. I personally don't like pushing it to spawn. Uh, I, I, I just, it makes me feel dirty. It really does. I, I, I don't wanna, but there's nowhere else to go to kill, just, to kill things. To kill things, so... I'm just gonna hang around by this rock. If they push up, or, or, you know, are able to push up, then I'll, I'll kill them, but for now, um, I'm not gonna kill them. There's, there's no real- oh. That's one of them, though. I think I can kill him from here? Yep. I feel so dirty. Yeah, he was right in their spawn, too, though he was practically dead by the time. Because I only took out, um, like, his transmission, I think. I wasn't paying attention, but his transmission with most of his crew members dead. Keep it up and victory will be ours. Yeah, this is GG. This massive smoke screen makes me stealthy. And that's game. Okay, um, I don't- we're heading into combat now and I don't want to die before I've had a chance to even introduce this match. So, yeah, we're in Tunisia now, and uh, we're we're not quite bottom bottom tier, but we're pretty down low there. Yeah, I'm in the M8 right now. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm really not feeling this tank. It's an SPG, um, by definition, technically. But um, yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not really feeling this tank. Uh, it's one of the few low tier um, American tanks that I have that I actually haven't um spaded yet. I, I don't know what, what what about it. Like, I mean, it's got a nice 50 cal. 
up up on the turret here, but pretty sure it's a 50 cal at least. Um, we can check right now. Yeah, it's a 50 cal, but look at that turret traverse. Yeah, that turret traverse is terrible. The shell velocity isn't the best. It doesn't even have a big gun. It's only a 75 mil. So it it doesn't have the hitting power of something like let's say the Horo or the Sturmpanzer. Also, I'm totally gonna die here. Come on, gun carrier. Okay, go, gun carrier, go, go. Get him! Come on, fifty. Ah, oh, piss, piss. This is like, I don't know, the third time I've played this map today? I, I swear. I swear. Yeah, we're, we're back in, well, with the Americans here. In the Stewart, not, not... Not, not, not the M8. How, how can something that is based on the chassis of a tank, in this game at least, that's so good? Like, the Stewart is really, really good for, you know, low tier fun. Be so bad. Like, the store doesn't have 50. Fair enough, but... That's the only good thing I, I can really say about the M8. Okay, it does have a high heat pen, but I find that it, the heat doesn't kill anything. But yeah, how, how can... It, it's also not as fast as the, um... As the Stuart here, so... I don't know, how can he... How can it be so bad? How can it be so bad? Come on, come on. Uh oh, crap. That was terrible shooting. Ah, uh, that was terrible shooting on my part. Well, I think that settles it, guys. If if you have a potato like me, it you you can run the game on on War Thunder, have some fun. But if you are a potato like me, not not even ultra low quality settings can save you. Uh, that was. That was horrible. That was horrible. Oh, that that I should have gotten that BT. I should have totally gotten him. Oh well. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. I don't know how I'm gonna cut up this video. It's definitely not going to be an hour long. Um, just as this recording session. Yes, I got like a lot of games into an hour long recording session because I died a lot. <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know i'm probably g this is probably gonna be a terrible video because i have just died i've just died what, what can i say i'm terrible at spotting objects from from far away i am i am they just all blend together for me but that's enough excuses for me. I know I, it probably doesn't matter because ultra low settings should have helped me. Actually, I'll be honest with you. Ultra low settings for me makes the game harder because all of that aliasing and all of that stuff it makes it harder for me to spot things. I just, you know, can't tell the difference between a tank or a bush. Even though I do have that problem with, you know, ultra settings War Thunder, it's a bit, it's a bit more difficult in... Well, ultra low for me. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes or me being, you know, not that well versed into playing War Thunder Ground Forces a lot because I'll be honest with you, I don't play a lot. I play a bit, quite a bit, but not as much as I should if I wanted to be good at it. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, like and subscribe if you want to do that fancy stuff and 
I think I'll leave it off here. Also, also... This thing is terrible. It is. I... <sighs> Why? Why?